In order to make dill pickles in a crock, you will need the following. A crock of your choice, I'm using a number two. Four pounds of pickling cucumbers. Two large jalapenos that have been sliced. A half cup of pickling salt. Two tablespoons of coriander seeds. Eight cloves of sliced garlic. Two teaspoons of peppercorns. And finally, you'll need six to eight freshly picked dill heads. For the brine, you will need three quarts of water. Allow to sit until room temperature. It is very important that you use freshly picked cucumbers. I plant national picklers because they're the perfect size. The dill heads should also be freshly picked. I prefer to pick the ones that haven't yet flowered. Wash the dill thoroughly and set aside. Wash the cucumbers thoroughly and then slice off the blossom end. If you're not sure which end is the blossom, then slice a little bit off both ends. In a pot, add three quarts of your room temperature water, pour in half cup of pickling salt, stir until dissolved, and set aside. Using a clean crock, you will now layer the ingredients. Start by placing one layer of cucumbers in the bottom of the crock. Sprinkle in a few pinches of coriander seed, peppercorns, slices of fresh jalapenos, and slices of fresh garlic. Finish this layer off by topping with a couple of large fresh heads of dill. The first layer is now done. You will repeat this process with the rest of the ingredients. Next, take your room temperature brine and pour enough brine over the cucumbers to cover them. You'll want the contents submerged in the brine. An effective way to do this is by using a plate. The weight of it will push the contents underneath the surface of the brine. And to make sure there's enough weight, I'll add a mug to the top of that. Another popular method is to add a Ziploc bag to the top filled with brine. Place the crock in a cool area and cover with a cloth. Check the contents every day. In about three or four days, you will notice some bubbles at the top of the brine. This is a sign that they are successfully fermenting. As the days go on, you will find that there's scum on top of the brine. This scum, also called a bloom, must be removed every day. I find one of the easiest ways to remove the bloom is to use a spoon to scoop it out. Repeat this process every day for about three weeks. After three weeks, the pickles should be well fermented and ready to eat. The pickles will be full flavored and they should be so crunchy when you break them in half you will hear them snap. To store the pickles, strain the brine, Pack the pickles in large jars and then cover using the strained brine. Secure a lid and store in the refrigerator. Pickles should keep for several months.